If you're watching this video, you are most likely new to Obsidian. So I have to say, welcome. This is a fantastic tool that is going to have a great impact on your life and your productivity. As I'm sure you have seen, there is a lot of Obsidian content on YouTube and around the web, and a lot of it is really complicated. My goal is to make things super easy so you can get started as quickly as possible with the highest impact as possible. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways of using templates in Obsidian. The first way is going to work out of the box. If you are new, this is most likely all you need to get started, and it is super simple. The other way is going to be a leveled up version of templates that uses plugins and makes things a little bit more complicated, but has a much higher reward. And I'm gonna show you why you might wanna do that instead. In case you're new to this channel, hello, my name is Dan. I work in cloud computing with a specialty in billing, but for fun, I've been publishing stuff on my website and I have a monthly newsletter and I just recently started making YouTube videos. So just having a good time with it. If you like this, let me know. It's always good to hear encouragement. and. With all that said, I'm gonna start showing you how to do this. Here we are in a fresh, brand new vault. So if you just open Obsidian for the first time, you haven't imported anything, this is what it's going to look like. And so let's just get started with templates right away. The first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is put a place or, or create a place for me to put all of my templates. So in this left-hand folder, here's the directory. If you press this button right here, this is new folder. Let's create one, we can just call it templates. You can do that if you just want to be at the front. Um, usually what I do is I have a folder. I'm going to create it called extras. And then in extras, I'm going to have templates. I might have images. I might have scripts, all of these different things in the extras folder. So one of the extras is going to be templates. So this is typically what I'll do. But again, you could just keep this at the top level here along with whatever else you want, or you can put it in an extra layer of navigation. Great, so now we're gonna have a folder to put our template files. Let's create a new file. So Command N is how you create a new file, and you can see that it showed up here. It's called Untitled. Um, I like to use a naming format. You don't have to, but let's just call it template, comma, example, template. And you can do template comma meeting notes, template comma people notes, template comma, whatever you want, you can use that here. And then let's do whatever we want as our template. So let's see like date, name, order, number, notes. So let's say that we want this to be our example template. So we've created this file. The next thing we wanna do is just move this into our templates folder. So there's two ways to do that. On the left side, you could just click and drag and put it in the templates folder. That works, you can see that it's here now. Let's take it back out again. One of the other ways that, once you get a little bit faster with Obsidian, is easier to do, uh, is the command palette. The command palette is basically just how you do everything in Obsidian. And to open the command palette, you just type command P, that's for palette, and then you can type in move, and you can see that there is move current file to another folder. If you select this, you can type templates and then you can select your templates directory and it will move the file into this templates folder too. Using the command palette took a couple of extra steps, but you'll find as you get the muscle memory and you start doing a bunch of things with the command palette, usually it's actually a bit quicker than going and grabbing your mouse. Uh, but again, this is a personal preference, do whatever you want. Uh, so what we're gonna do next is open the settings because we're almost ready to use our templates, right? So go to settings. One of the core plugins is templates. And you can see under here, it says core plugins. This lists all the core plugins and templates is here already. Uh, the first thing I wanna show you is just going to community plugins. You can actually, sorry, going into core plugins. We're not gonna look at community left yet. Uh, templates right here. You can see that this is enabled. Uh, you can see a bunch of other plugins that uh, are core to Obsidian. And you can see there's a little gear. These are the options. This is gonna take you to the same place. These two do the same thing. So in templates, one of the things I want to do is this is template folder location. I'm gonna tell this that we put all of our templates in extras templates. Uh, you can also specify the date format and time format. I'm not gonna touch any of that. And with all that said, we are now ready to use templates. We can close this, we can close this, we can close the graph view. And let's say we wanna create a new note 
and then use a template. So let's do Command N to create a new note. I'm going to call this just new note. And then I'm going to use the command palette to put in a template here. So if you do command P for palette, and then just type template, or just as soon as you start typing template, there's gonna be a bunch of different options. So insert template, I'm gonna choose the one that we created, and it just added all of these things from our template into this note here. And one other thing I wanna create, or one other thing I wanna mention with templates is let's create a new one. So Command N, and let's call this template snippet. So templates don't need to be entire notes. So this is a snippet. It can be just part of a note that you're putting into someplace else. So we've created this. I'm gonna do Command P. I'm gonna type move move current file to another folder, and let's move this into our templates folder. So right now we have in the templates folder, example template and snippet. So I'm gonna go back to our new note. This is where we inserted this template. If I just scroll down my cursor, just a few more lines, and then again, I'm doing command P for the palette, typing in template, insert template, and let's do snippet this time. And right where my cursor is, it's inserting a, a snippet or a template. So you can use these templates as ways to do entire new notes that you want the full content that you fill out, or they can just be little tiny snippets that go in line wherever you want them to be. And those are the super basics of the built-in template features. Super powerful, and you can get going right now. And if you stick around, I'm gonna show you a little bit more advanced way to do things. Okay. If you want to level up your template game, there is a plugin that everybody uses. Most likely, if you're watching other videos about this, this is where people go to by default. This is not the default, because obviously this is super powerful. But if you do want to level it up, let me show you a little bit about what you can do with Templater. So the first thing we need to do is install the Templater plugin which is a community plugin, meaning that it's created by people in the community rather than by the Obsidian team itself. So if we go back into settings, we're gonna to go to community plugins this time, and community plugins need to be enabled. So by default, you're not gonna be able to use any community plugins, but you can click this button to turn them on. And then all we have to do is go into browse, and you'll see that Templator is so popular that it shows up here. You don't usually need to type anything. If you wanna search for plugins, you could obviously use uh, the search feature, but we're just gonna to go to Templator right now. We're gonna click it, and there's two steps to install a community plugin. Install and enable. And that's it, you're installed. Uh, so just like we did in, this is our regular settings. We went to templates before. There's also the Templator plugin. And one of the things I'm actually gonna do is disable the original templates, just so it doesn't get confusing at all. So if you go to core plugins, we scroll down to templates. I'm just gonna turn this off and you can see that it disappears here. So let's go into Templator. Again, template file folder location. We're gonna choose extras templates because that's where all of my template files are. And you'll see that there's a lot more settings here, uh, including little hotkeys that you can use. You can select folders so that any new file created in those folders include templates from the start uh, and a bunch of other things. So browse through here to kind of see what's available uh, and turn on the things that you want. But with all this said, one of the things I wanna show you about Templator is just how powerful it is with snippets of code. So I'm gonna to go to Safari, and in Safari, I have uh, the Templator website. This is the documentation for Templator, and I'm gonna include a link to this website in the description. And as a quick example, on their homepage, you're gonna be able to turn something like this into a result like this. So let's just look at the one, the, the first example, right? In this original code, creation date, it uses this little snippet of code to insert the date. So all of Templator code is between a bracket and a percent, and then a percent and a bracket closes it. And then this is gonna be the actual code line that does various different things. So you can see that tp.file.creation underscore date, and then with open and close parentheses, is going to create an output that looks exactly like this. Uh, an example, uh, or the other example is right below it, modification date. 
you can see TP file last modifi modified date. And then you can see that within this, it specifies a specific format and that outputs to this specific format. So there's a lot of things that you can do with this in terms of like the, the terminology, the syntax, you can look at dates, you can do files. I'm not gonna get into the full documentation of it, except to say that this becomes super powerful when you're creating templates. And one of the examples I wanna do, and I covered this in a past video, this is an example of my daily note template. So every day I launch Obsidian, I open my daily note, and that's sort of the foundation that I'm working out of. So anything new, you can see I have a section that says notes that were created today, and notes that were last touched today. And so what this is doing is using a different plugin called Data View, uh, and it's gonna be using templater code, which you can see all right here, to create this Data View table that lists all of my notes that were either created today or touched today. So in the future, if I'm coming back to this daily note, I can see all the notes that I wrote about this day, as well as all of the notes that I worked on this day. So this is where it becomes super powerful. Watch my other video, which I'll link in the notes below to see the details about how to set that up. But let's go back to Obsidian, right? So what we're gonna do is let's create just another uh, template file. So let's command new and let's call this template and let's call this templater example, right? And so let's go back to Safari and I'm gonna do this created and then use the templater code to get today's date. So command C to copy, let's go back to Obsidian. In this template, I'm just gonna use this created and then this templater code right here. And then this is a template. Uh, I'm not sure why I would want to have that, but you have that code in there. And again, we're gonna have to move this into our templates folder. So command P, move, move current file to another folder, type in templates, and now we have this templater example in here. And again, we can go to our new note. Let's do actually another one, new note two templater, and you can see we just typed template in the command palette again, but because we disabled template and we have templater enabled, these are all templater options. So create new note from template. We're gonna choose our templater example, and you can see that snippet of code that was in our template turned into the date and time like we wanted it to. And that's the very basics of how you can get set up with Templater, which is gonna level up your templates just a little bit. So I wanna show you two more quick things about templates that could just level up your game even more. Let's say you want all new notes that you create to be based on template files. So you kind of have a base template and then you might have other templates that are related to other different areas of your note-taking system that you're working in. So let's create a base template. We're gonna do Command N, so template, base template. And this is what we wanna use for all of our new notes. Um, what I'm going to do is, again, let's enter in just this template or code here. What I wanna do is go into settings, and this is how I do it. There are probably multiple ways to do this, uh, but you're gonna have hotkeys. So usually the way that I am creating new notes is by typing command N. And right now, command N, uh, let's type in new, create new note. This short key is going to create a new note. But really what I want this to do is create a new note from a template when I do command N. So I'm gonna press X to remove new note from here. And let's type in templater. Great, so now we can see templater create new note from template it's actually gonna be option N, which I don't like as much. I'm just gonna make this uh, and then type customize this command, do command N. So now when I do command N, it's going to give me a list of templates to choose from. And it looks like our uh, base template is not there. Can you figure out why? I just realized this myself. We didn't move it into the templates folder. So let's go back to base template, command P, move, move file to another folder, move this to our templates. And now if we do command N, it's going to be base template and we can press enter 
and it's going to create us a new note based on that template that we choose. And now there's one more thing I want to show you that is going to level up your template game even more. And that is being able to create a new note from a template by clicking a button. And this is super cool. Like, let's say you have meeting notes. And so you have a meeting note that is the map of contents. It stores all of your other meeting notes. And then on this meeting note note, you have a button to create these new notes for individual meetings. But what we're gonna do in this example, let's create a new page. Uh, we can just do it off of base template here. Let's call this parents. And I just wanna have this be our parent note. And on this parent page, I wanna create a new button. And this button is going to create a new note based on our example template, for example. So for this, we're gonna use an additional uh, plugin. So let's go to our settings. We're gonna go to community plugins. I'm going to browse and I like Meta bind for this. So meta bind is how you can create buttons and to do a bunch of other things. So I'm gonna click this, I'm gonna install, and then let's enable this. And then we can just go back to our page. And if we do command P, again, this is the command palette, we can type in meta bind. And one of the options is open button builder. So let's collect this. We'll just title this new example template. At the bottom here, there's templater create note. So let's select this, add action. So as our template file, all we wanna do is create uh, or select example template. So this one right here, yep, example template. Uh, for the folder, we can choose what folder we want all of these new files to be in. We haven't created any new folder, so I'm just gonna leave this the default. New file name, let's call this TK. Uh, if you haven't seen TK before, it's like a writer editor thing that stands for to come. It's uh, a letter combination that doesn't appear in English, so it's easy to command F to find and then replace. And so usually that's just a holder text for anything that I'm writing. Uh, and then open note, I want this to open when I click it. So the next thing we do is copy to clipboard and let's paste it. And you'll see that there is a code block that it puts in there. But if I press return again, this now renders a button. So we have a button that says new example template. And when we click this, uh, oh, we got an error. It looks like we need to specify a folder. So. Just to, if you're following along and you wanna know what just happened and what I just did, I got an error and it said to check the developer log to see what it is. So if you go into, where is it? View, uh, toggle developer tools right here. And then console is going to be where log or where errors are logged. So I looked at Metabind, I just read this a little bit and it said folder not found. And so that's how I knew that there was an issue with a folder. So let's create a new folder, examples. And then in here, we'll look at this code. I'm just gonna recreate this button all over again because I like the button builder and I don't wanna try to edit it and get it wrong. So command P, uh, meta bind button builder, new template example. Again, templater, create note, add action. Template, templates are example template here. Folder, let's do examples. Default file name, open note. And let's try this again. So now if we click this, yep, we should get a new note and it is based on our example template. And there you go, that's different ways to use templates in Obsidian, starting from the basic built-in way using the built-in template plugin, and then upgrading it a little bit with the templater plugin, with changing around the hotkeys a little bit, and with creating a button that creates a new note from that button. There you have it, that was how to install uh, and use templates in Obsidian. If you've liked this, please give this video a like, please subscribe, please join my newsletter, please check out my website, dannb.org. All of those are gonna be in the description below. And thank you so much for watching.